Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, we are just going to be testing out and reviewing some new products that I picked up, well, new to me, and some are new. Um, and also, I just wanted to do a quick shout out to Merit Beauty right over here. They gifted me with some lip products that we are going to be testing. Girl, you know how I love the lips. So a special thank you to Merit. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm like so super excited to try all these new products. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between 1 and 2-ish. So, yep, like, make comments, ring the bell, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now, without further ado, let's get started. I know in the beginning of every doggone video, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like so super duper excited. But I am, I'm so super excited. But anyway, let's just start off real quick um, on the Liberoonies. I got this Winky Lux. I think I picked this up in one of my FabFitFun boxes. I can't remember, but look how freaking stinking beautiful and special and delicious that is, isn't it? So we might as well start off a real quick Liberoonie and um, put some lip oil on our lips. By the way, you could also get Winky Lux um, in Target. They sell them in Target. Smells like a vanilla. You know how I feel about that. You know how I feel about it. But as long as uh, it doesn't linger, mm, this is fantabulous. Mm, it's a cross between a nice oil and a nice lip balm. Oh, that feels so good. So we're going to start off with that. Mm -hmm. So I just picked up this MAC. Girl, this is not new. This is the MAC Pro Long Pain Pod. And I picked this up. Wow. Pee -pee -poo -poo, picked this up in uh, soft okra. I have been dying to pick this up and actually one of um, my subscribers are like, girl, you should pick up like this paint pot or blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I already had it. I just, just picked it up. So that was so sweet. Thank you so, so much. So we're going to, oh, I love this. Look at this packaging. So, so pretty. So we're going to definitely try that, girl. Um, I know I'm late to the party. I know I'm late to the party. I just picked up the Fenty. These are the Fenty Ease Drops, the Blurring Skint Tint. I'm so super excited. So, so super excited. This is a light to medium coverage for all skin tone. Blends and blurs to instant uh, perfection. Light as air. I'm like so excited. Um, just put my hairdo back. As you could see the background over here. My daughter came back from college. Um, unfortunately, she's got COVID again. This is her second time she's had it. So we had to bring her back home. But anyway, so here we are for a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, yes, yeah, so I already have all my moisture eyes are on my face i'm like so excited i've heard so many great things about this and like i said i know i'm a, uh i'm late to the party but we're gonna try it we're gonna so so try it so i have no idea if this is the right color you know what i'm gonna stop right here in the name of the law i'm gonna stop right here let's do the eyes super duper quick because i really want to try this and i also got gifted this beautiful palette this is the baked browns from dose of color that i just haven't gone to it so haven't gotten to it haven't gone haven't gotten to it i haven't gotten to it yet so we're going to definitely do that so let's just do the eyes real quick and then we're going to get into that doggone fenty eavesdrop i gotta smell everything girl you know how, you know that so this is what it looks like right over here so so nice so this is what it looks like on the hand I have to tell you, normally, like, I would try to put these, um, let's see what I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use um, the refer. This is the number two. Normally, like, when I would put, um, like, skin-colored prime. first of all, I just started recently using primer on my eyes, and sometimes I forget. A lot of the times I forget. I just felt like every time I used it, could be me, it just accentuated, um, the loose skin on my eyelids more than I noticed without it. So that's why I really didn't care for, you know, like that skin colored primer. But I'm going to just show you. This is kind of dryish on the eyelid. So it could be me. It could be me. I just feel like you see like right all in here, right here. It just looks so much more crepier than this over here you see that i don't know i mean it could be me could be that my eyelids girl we went out last night uh and it's not like i think i had like two drinks i'm not really a drinker but that was beside the point but then when we got home we got home like about 11 ish 
not a big deal. We were up until 2 o'clock in the morning talking to the girls. Like chit-chat and shooting the breeze, which was so great. Because I can't remember the last time we just sat up and talked. But everybody, I don't think none of us got up before 11.30 this morning. So I am like dragging like a snoop dog a dog. What the heck time is it anyway? Yeah, it's 3 o'clock. Um, um, I'm not really sure if I like this. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to come close. You know, girl, when I get close, there's a problem. But just look. It's just more like right in here. I just feel like they're so, so crepey, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just the wrong color. This feels really, really dry on my eyelids, but we'll see. We will see. Okay, let's just dive into this um, eyeshadow palette right over here. One of my subscribers sent this to me a while ago. You know who you are. She wants to be anonymous, but thank you so much. This is so nice. Ooh, ooh, it's so pretty. I have a few of the uh, Dosa colors. I think they are so, so nice. So, so pretty. Okay, cool. Girl, you know the usual. We're going to speed up this process. Light to dark, blah, blah, blah. I'm just curious to see how this um, primer, eye primer fares out. You know, I don't think I like it right over here. But like I said, it could be me that I am um, just dry today. But we'll see. Okay, so just something light and simple on the eyes. I love, love, love this color. So nice and light. I am not sure how I feel about this uh, MAC paint pod. It looks very, very dry right in here. It could have been like I didn't warm it up enough. It could have been that uh, my eyes were a little dry. But anywho, we'll see how it goes along the day. But this I so, so love. Like I said, I have a few of these dose of colors that are beautiful. We're going to go, we're going to use some underneath the eyes once we get there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just, um, I really love that matte eyelid. I'm going to just step off camera real quick um, just to do like my eyelashes, my eyeliner, and, um, and then we're going to finish the rest of the face. I will be right back. Okay, cool. So I just put on some eyeliner, some mascara, did my eyebrows real quick. I'm like so excited about this Fenty Eavesdrops. Now, um, how do you put it on? Do you use your hands? Do you use a brush? Let me look that up for one second. Okay, it says to, uh, let me see, shake well and apply a few drops with fingers or with a full bodied foundation brush made to layer with your skincare and primer. Okay, I'm like so excited. I don't even know if this is the right color. Again, I got color 11, number 11, whatever the heck that means. So this is what it is right over here. Everybody knows about it. Like I said, I'm a little late. Let's see here. The blur is real. Rihanna wanted to create a light coverage, easy to apply, flexible skin tint that instantly evens out your skin complexion and gives a flattering blunt effect. Eavesdrop with hydrating a quick blur complex is perfect for a no makeup makeup look or for when you want to look effortlessly but put uh, effort, effortlessly put together in 25 adaptable shades options of, for all instantly blurs mm -hmm. light to medium long wear coverage uh let's see apply applies well with fingers or brush mm. humidity sweat and transfer resistant formula that's really good let me just see what the heck 11 is 11 is medium with neutral undertones i mean that's me exactly but you know sometimes you know it doesn't pan out it's got like this little squirty thing i'm not a fan of that but okay so here's what it is right over here this looks a little dark i'm not gonna lie i will yeah that looks dark but mm, let's try it with the brush i'm gonna use the 106 like i normally do oh yeah it's really really dark mm, i'm gonna have to return this but let's just try it anyway because really let's see if we could bypass the color i want to use a brush on one side and then I want to, I'm going to just put this on my nose. I want to use my fingers on the other. It is pretty though. That is really, really pretty. Mmm. Okay, let me go. Um, I have like this much left. And I don't know, pumps, these squirty things, you really can't tell like how much that you took out. But let me just go on this side with my fingers. 
it's got like a watery consistency but coverage you know it feels like it almost feels like a borderline serum to the fingertips you know damn that's too bad because it is really really pretty hmm you know what I think I'll do if I like it let's just take the rest of it and I'm gonna just take it down my neck I may just keep it because you know summertime is coming eventually eventually summertime is coming this would look absolutely beautiful like in the summertime with a nice little tan damn this looks really pretty I will tell you for me personally it just gives a wash of color like light I don't even think this is medium for me like I have a lot of hyperpigmentation over here and I have some on the side of my mouth is it blurring I don't know. I'm not really sure about that I really like the way it looks with my fingers I think more than with the brush for me when I'm just running around and whatever doing my business damn it is dark doing my business um, yeah I'll just put like a tinted moisturizer on or I love like the CeraVe SPF 30 the the sheer tint um, some sunblock and you could see everything like this to me this is what this reminds me of I mean you could see everything but it's pretty I like it I think I'm gonna keep the color I think I'm gonna keep the color because I think it would look so so beautiful um, for the summertime this this is nice okay cool that is so so nice now I've had this product before I have this product before this is the elf putty uh, bronzer love 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 them I have them in two shades tan line and I think it's called golden haze goes golden day something like that but I saw um, Lisa don't go on at Lisa J she tried this shade it's called feeling shady very very cool very cool I um, love my contours of course you know contours are always on the cooler side but some contours are still like warm this looked very very cool so I'm so super excited to try this so this is what this one looks like right over here and again this is called um, feeling shady I mean look at that that is super de duper cool isn't it I'm gonna just warm it up Oh, it is. Look at that. I barely touched it. Look how emollient that is. Such satisfaction, right? Okay, so let me just show it to you. Oh, yeah. This is really, really creamy. A lot creamier than what I remembered. That is, look at that. That is like very, very cool. Oh, I'm so excited. So what I like to do is, I just like to take the butt of, um, my sponge and just pinch it I'm gonna just pinch it and just take a little bit of it right over here and let's work this bad boy in oh so you can hardly see it right is it me let's see that's really pretty you can hardly see it though right am I seeing things hmm no you can see it you see, like if I'm looking straight on, you could totally see it. It's right over here. That's really pretty. I'm just trying to think. I think this is a lot more emollient. It is freaking pretty, though. That's nice. I'm just going to go whatever I have left over, just around my nose. And that's pretty. I'm going to take the other side, and I'm just going to go around my face. Okay, this is a super, super interesting color. I'm not really sure about it. Let me, I'm going to have to think about it. But I, hold on, I do, just give me a second. I, let me just grab my other ones because for, for some reason this feels way more emollient than the other ones. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is uh, the tan lines and this one is, yeah, golden days. So these are the two right over here. Let me just watch these little lovers. Yeah, like this feels thicker so I'm just using the I'm gonna just swatch all of them that's the tan lines and then this is the golden haze let me swatch this um, this feeling shady yeah it feels totally totally different and I'm gonna see if I could come closer to you can you see like how 
emollient that is. I hope you can see that on camera. Like, it's so... It feels totally different. It feels totally, totally different. Hmm? We'll see. But it is a pretty color. Okay, a lot of things I am not expecting. Interesting. So I'm going to just go in um, with my L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronzer. This is in uh, La Terra. I'll just show it to you. It's got very, very, very tiny specks of shimmer, if you could see that. It is so, so pretty. So I'm going to just take... Um, my bronzer brush from BK Beauty. I'm going to just tap this little lover out and just uh, start warming up the face. Oh, that's so pretty. It's very, very glowy. I like it. Okay, cool. Let me just um, run off real quick and just do my concealers and then just finish the bottom of um, my eyes and then we'll get going with the rest of the products. I'll be right back. Okay, how good does that look? That looks so, so, oh, I really, really love, love, love. You know, I know this is a shocker. I'm a neutral girl, but this beautiful browns, what is it called? Baked browns from Dose of Color. Oh, that is so pretty. Yep, okay, so that, I did that, did that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, girl. I picked up these two beautiful, beautiful MAC blushes um, from Ulta the other day. Um, I happened to go, I'm gonna put a picture right over here. This were, there was a lavender one that was so beautiful. I, I, they didn't have um, the purple, well, lavender one on the Ulta website, but they had it in the store, which I found odd. So I may go back and get it, I'm not really sure. But anyway, this is, the, I think this is one of their new um, collections. This is the MAC Glow Play blushes this is i think they're just coming out with like a spring collection so i got one in uh cherry tree and then this one is um in peaches and dreams i'm like they were so beautiful if i can open them i will show you okay so this is what they look like they are so super -de duper pretty i love the packaging Ooh, look how gorgeous that is we're gonna have to put one on each side and look like a doodleish. Okay, so this one is in, and the reason why I picked this color up, girl, because you know I don't like peach. I'm not like a peachy girl, um, but I wanted to. Ooh, that's beautiful. I wanted to step out of my comfort zone. So it smells like nothing. Thank you, God. They're like that spongy consistency. Ooh, that is so so pretty. So let me see if, if you could see that. Can you see that little? Can you see that? Oh, that's so pretty. Let me just see here. Do I have two clean blush brushes? I have one Mississippi. And you know what? We're going to have to improvise. And I'm going to use the BK Beauty 108, one on each side. So I'm going to use this cherry tree um, right over here on my right side. This is so pretty. Ooh. It doesn't pick up that much, so I'm going to say that look like a clown. So that's how much it picked up. Should I be daring? Oh, hell, that is so freaking beautiful. Oh, my word. Oh, that is so gorgeous. And it goes on so easy. Let me just touch it. Yeah, like it's it's got that, it's got a spongy, it's got like a spongy texture, but it feels creamy touching it. Again, cream to powder, but look how beautiful. Let me do the other one as well. Ooh, that is so beautiful. It's got such a soft, spongy consistency. <gasps> they're so pretty you know I'm a blush girl so I'm gonna this is so beautiful I think it looks so so nice with these tinted um, ease drops I'm gonna put some right on the apples of my cheek oh that is so beautiful okay that is so nice like I said I'm gonna use the BK Beauty brush for this um, peaches and dream oh wow this comes out a lot more let's just do it Ooh, look how pretty. That's pretty. That is so nice. Do you guys have a problem? Like I, like when I cross my body to put makeup on, on this side of the face, for some reason, it's a, I always feel like a struggle. Could be the girls. I mean, it could be the girls, girl. It could be getting in the way. This is so beautiful. I'm going to go on the apples. Oh, I'm going to go on the apples of my cheek. That's so nice. I'm going to go back in just whatever tool that I use. Usually I like to go back in with my sponge. I'm going to go over the bridge of my nose, but I like this, you know, I'm a pinky girl. I'm going to go over the bridge with, with this color right over here. I'm going to go over the bridge with that. That is so pretty. I mean, could you, I mean, you can tell ish, 
because we're talking about it. But I really don't think I would necessarily say, girl, you're wearing two um, blushes. Two different blushes, girl. But it, they are so pretty. Mm. Love, 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 love. And then last but not least, I got these beautiful, beautiful lip smack and sticks from Merit. Thank you so, so much, by the way, for gifting um, these products to me. They were so super duper gracious to send me um, a discount link code. So I will leave it down below. And of course, if you want to purchase it, I do make a little bit of a commission. But um, let's get into them. These are the Merit lipsticks you can live in. Merit Signature Lip Comfortable Color lightweight buildable satin finish clean cruelty fee and vegan here's a little card right over here so so beautiful i just want to show you girl look at this cute little package of rooney that they send the lip smack and sticks in isn't it so so nice let me just read up on merit they are vegan cruelty free and they are certified by the leaping bunny their packaging of course is recyclable reusable and biodegradable look how freaking cute this is this is so so nice they are a minimalist beauty um, they're a clean beauty like i said before for the body for the skin for the planet i will leave information down below about um their products but like i said they did gift these to me. Thank you so, so much. They, they let me pick out my colors. You know, anytime I try to use a new product, I do not like to um, use a lip liner because I do not want to distort the color. So I did pick up um, this color, and this is in Slip. This is in Slip. Let me show it to you. Very, very sturdy. I will tell you, it is very heavy in the hand. I didn't even open them yet. I'm like so, super excited. Again, signature lip, lightweight lipstick. Mm, I'm so, super excited. And of course, you know, we're going to swatch them. We're going to swatch them. So this, oh my goodness, this is the package right over here. Wow, isn't that so beautiful? Ooh, that is so nice. Here is their um, emblem. Isn't that nice? And there it is right over here. And I also got um, Millennial. So same thing. So this one is in Slip. You know what I smell like, girl? That is gorgeous. This does not, this looks like more of a brown. Oh, that is beautiful. That is in Slip, and this is in Millennial. Wow. Wow, these are gorgeous. Let me just show them to you real quick. Isn't that gorgeous? So the pink is in Millennial, and then like the neuter, the neutier color, neuter, neutier color is in slip that is so beautiful so we're going to start off these are very balmy i bet you they would look absolutely beautiful with um with lip liners let's just take off the lip balm okay let's just go in with the slip first that's beautiful i'm surprised it's not what i expected Ooh. okay these are more like balms mmm they are like Super, super creamy on the lips. Mmm. It feels like lotion. Okay, very, very light. Um, there's a very, very light tint of color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. When you talk about minimalist, I could see why. It is gorgeous. Right up my alley. You girl, you know how I feel about lip smack and stick slash. I'm a lip glossy kind of girl. This is a cross between that beautiful, beautiful tint and a balm with a little bit of a shine. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, I love that. Now we're going to try the Millennial. Ooh, this is so pretty. This is gorge. You know how I feel about my pinks. You know that. Ooh, this is so beautiful and creamy and delicious. This will look absolutely beautiful with any kind of lip liner if you wanted to if you wanted to darken it up a little bit, but still have that beautiful, it feels like a lotion. This beautiful, creamy, lotiony, nourishing consistency on your lips. Or you could just leave it like this. Like to me. I think this is perfect. I didn't intend to have all of these like natural, no makeup, makeup kind of makeup together, but it worked out beautifully. Let me just put my hairdo down and just check out the whole ensemble, shall we? Let's just look. 
Ooh, this looks so, so beautiful. Everything looks so natural and so glowy and so delish. So, so nice. So that is it, guys. This is my video of new products that we're reviewing and testing. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Please leave me some comments below. Dang it, you guys, I forgot the highlighter. I'm gonna just throw on this Ofra highlighter. This one is in Star Island. Hello, I'm thinking, this is beautiful. This is, wait a minute, something is missing. So here is the Star Island so so nice so let me just put this on real quick girl how could you forget highlighter what the hell look at that how pretty it's it's like so pretty like on this fresh no makeup makeup skin i think it looks so nice this is so pretty Ooh, i love everything mm. okay now i'm done so that is it guys and of course everything else that i put on um off camera you know girl it will be down below but that is it guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you so so much for sharing your time with me and as always you guys be good to each other love each other and have a great great day bye